Okay, there's a lot to get into, and that's why in this video, I will be sharing some of the research that I've been doing on what is essentially the most important story of the decade that, of course, the mainstream media wants to go away. If you want to avoid important announcements about this channel, there will be a time code down below so you could skip them and just get right into it. And I say that because today is a very important American holiday and tradition known, of course, as Black Friday. And if you've been checking out our store, if you were ever were debating about purchasing our rebellious goods, this time is better than ever to do so with, of course, 20% off this Black Friday with the promo code BLACKFRY on everything, on all products, including our Make Taxation Theft Again hat, our Epstein Didn't Kill Himself hat, which we have also in black and blue, just in case if you don't want to really have eyeballs on you. We also have a bunch of new merchandise which goes to supporting us, including phone cases to remind you that you're being surveilled all the time. And our latest edition, Jeffrey Epstein Christmas sweaters, which you could only get on our Teespring stores, which is linked directly in the video below. So definitely don't forget that promo code if you want to save some money on these purchases. Now, also make sure that you do your shopping not at work. Unlike Jeffrey Epstein's prison security guards that were caught looking for motorcycles and expensive furniture, during, of course, their watch of Jeffrey Epstein when he allegedly killed himself, which again, absolutely makes no sense at all. But outside of the shopping holiday, today is also Thanksgiving, another important American tradition where, of course, we worship gigantic corporate symbols like Ronald McDonald promoting GMO unhealthy foods to young children as later we watch grown men smash each other in the head as hard as they can. Today, also, Donald Trump made a surprise visit to U.S. troops in Afghanistan to remind them that they're going to be there indefinitely, as most wars are created because of lies, false pretenses, and, of course, false flags, which the mainstream media does not want to tell you about. But, but, but symbolically, today also represents a day where people come together as families sit down at the dinner table and and give thanks symbolically and i think that's an extremely important symbolic tradition that i've been following and, and other than just taking this break doing this video and i kind of wanted to, to share what i am thankful for and and first of all i'm very thankful for my physical health as you've seen i've been doing videos almost every single day up until the last few days where i just randomly came down with a major fever out of nowhere, out of out of the blue. I'm still recovering now, but nothing really makes you more grateful for your health than than actually losing it for a few days. So if you're if you're healthy and, and you're not sick and you're not ill, I, I, it's it's something that you should extremely appreciate. Also, I'm very grateful for all the amazing people in my life, especially my good friends Jeff Berwick, Joby Weeks, and so many other individuals that have been there for me, sharing information, sharing knowledge, helping each other out, that, that really have allowed us to pull off really incredible things, not just storming Jeffrey Epstein's island, but just so many incredible things that we've been able to do that have been virtually extremely difficult to pull off, but have been only pulled off because of the close people around me. There's also my family that has been extremely patient and extremely understanding, not only dealing with me, but dealing with some of the circumstances that I put myself in. It, it always hasn't been, it been easy for them, particularly the stress levels, but they're still here for me, even though my job is, is very risky, which, which again, I'm also grateful for because I'm extremely lucky to be alive. Um, and I have a pretty crazy life, a pretty incredible life that I'm able to, to share with you that, of course, wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you. So deep down, I'm grateful and thankful for all of those things I mentioned, and especially you amazing human beings that allow this to happen. Without you, I wouldn't be here. And that's why... When I end my broadcast, I say the things that I do. You're going to have to watch to see if you haven't been watching. But anyway, just simply thank you so much for everything. Now let's get to why we're all here. And that is the fact that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. And the 
amount of updates and information is, is very difficult to keep track of. I'm doing my best. And I, I bet I'm still missing some, some things, but there's some really explosive updates to the story, including the official response by Virginia Roberts, the woman who was trafficked as a young child by Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. She came out and doubled down with an official response to Pinocchio Prince Andrew from his car crash interview on the BBC, which released 15 seconds from a 30-minute interview that they will be releasing soon. It was a really scary time in my life. The BBC speaks to the woman who says she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew, an allegation the prince categorically denies. He knows what happened. I know what happened. And there's only one of us telling the truth. And of course, I will be watching and going over the full 30-minute interview on this YouTube channel when it comes out Monday. But already, this looks like it will be an explosive interview that will yet again point this entire scandal to the main stage, which it rightfully deserves to be. Since again, Virginia Roberts just a few days ago made very important statements saying that Ghislaine Maxwell should be arrested and Prince Andrew belongs in jail for the actions that they committed. Now, of course, both of these accused, very powerful individuals are fighting back in many different ways, which is important to highlight here. But another thing that's surprising here is that this is all being done by the BBC, which honestly doesn't have the best track record when it comes to protecting children. Not only advocating for, for children to use stripper poles, but also previously being caught red-handed with someone that they worked with before, Jimmy Seville, and his connections to the royal family, and his atrocious, disgusting, satanic actions that this monster of a being did that again I, I can't even mention it's thanksgiving i won't mention what this man did but it is beyond jaw dropping so so it's interesting seeing a lot of this come out because of the bbc that again has a very bad track record when it comes to similar situations that have unfolded before as of course many especially in the united kingdom when it when it comes to the royal family ultimately brown noses them to the fullest extent trying to of course dominate the headlines with gender equality talk and the royal family who of course care so much about <laughs> gender equality as there are way too many pedophiles hanging out around them now we have to understand that this could be a way to save face and there could be an attempt here to control the narrative which is which is not out of the line of possibility here and we have to understand the royal family is facing a lot of pressure even previously before with many people advocating to just get rid of them which is becoming more and more of a popular opinion in the United Kingdom. There's also a couple other stories that ran, allegedly talking about Epstein's guard offer to cooperate, and now how, according to The Sun, Ghislaine Maxwell will be sued coming out of hiding and speaking to the FBI. And, and, and again, we have to understand here, the first article that I mentioned, though obviously is unconfirmed, the investigation is still going on, and if there was cooperation amongst witnesses, this information would not leak to the public. And with an anonymous source here, we have to be skeptical here, which of course is a similar situation unfolding with this alleged coming out of Ghislaine Maxwell, which again is coming from a news organization that is just as bad as CNN and is known for sensational hyperbolic headlines that aren't always true. And their story again is based off yet another anonymous source which again should be highly questioned here since it could also be testing of the waters by these individuals who buy the best pr and have been caught manipulating the mainstream media before now a lot of the pressure a lot of the blame especially by the media is not going against Gislin maxwell which should be a major topic of discussion in the mainstream media. Every journalist or individual who dares to call themselves a journalist should be asking and investigating Ghislaine Maxwell and where is she? Because again, this is just a, a big mystery to a lot of individuals. But 
a lot of the blame has been shifted to Prince Andrew. And things don't really look well for uh, Queen Mama's favorite son here, with even Prince Andrew's ex coming out saying that dealing with Prince Andrew has led her into debauchery. Yep, those are <laughs> her own words here. And according to newly released court papers, Gislin Maxwell was the one who introduced Epstein to Prince Andrew and was essentially the pimp here in, in all of this. And it is also coming out that she hired women and snuck them into Buckingham Palace to give the belittled prince here a massage. Again, these are all the latest allegations that shouldn't be surprising here to anyone. But the, but things don't really look good for uh, the, the prince here at all. And there's a lot of underhanded lying, a lot of things that we still do not know here about this very, very important case. Now, even just doing a little bit of research in this story, Gislin Maxwell is essentially everywhere. I mean, this was a very powerful, connected individual, not only to media moguls, but intelligence agencies. She's pictured here with, of course, Jeffrey Epstein, Prince Andrew, Rupert Murdoch, Virginia Roberts, that Prince Andrew says he never met, doesn't even know, and pictured here at Chelsea Clinton's wedding. Also a procurer of very strange art, including this piece that was photographed at her house with the pyramid and spiral image that many people attribute to the activities that are being accused here. And again, the number of individuals named here, especially the suspicious ones like Woody Allen here, need to be called out and there needs to be more scrutiny against these individuals, including even Elon Musk, that according to the New York Times, Epstein claimed he even advised. And here, of course, he is photographed with Epstein's pimp, Gislin Maxwell, whose father, of course, was Robert Maxwell, a media mogul connected to many intelligence agencies. There's even this newspaper clipping from the St. Louis Post talking about how our current president, Donald Trump, without his wife, went to a party on a yacht of Robert Maxwell that was named after his daughter, Gislin. And these people ran in the same circles all the way back in the 1980s. Here's Trump also with the media mogul and also individuals connected to Nexium. Here is Trump once again sitting next to Gislin Maxwell, the individual that again looks like as she's under DOJ protection as of course no one is trying to find out where she is at. Here's another photo at yet another event with Gislin Maxwell and Donald Trump, who very interestingly also put on a quote, Save the Children Disney Party in 1985 at the House of Royals, which again is, is a very common thing to do of many predators, as we've seen very similar actions by, of course, Jimmy Seville. Here's yet another party of Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein. Another incident of, of Epstein and Gislin Maxwell being pictured together. And of course, here with Jeffrey Epstein, Gislin Maxwell, Prince Andrew, and Donald Trump himself. Now, take these photos as you may, but, but there's a big, big connection here that I do deserve Donald Trump should be questioned on, especially when it comes to Gislin Maxwell. Now, Again, we won't get into the topic of Donald Trump because I could get into a, a, a large, large amount of information that is favorable and unfavorable to him during this uh, particular uh, circumstance. But of course, a lot of people do focus on, on Bill Clinton, who again ditched the Lolita Express, and we could get into him as well. But I think one thing we could all agree on is that these powerful individuals, Clinton and Trump, do deserve to answer very serious questions about all of this because there's a cover-up going on. And there's cover-ups in many different ways, including shutting down of so-called charity, non-profit organizations right after all of this was coming down. There's still so much we don't know, including 
photographs of airplanes being captured here at the New Mexico Jeffrey Epstein mansion. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secret meetings between Prince Andrew and Ghislaine Maxwell and many other powerful individuals that do deserve to be understood, that do deserve some transparency here, since, of course, we're dealing with the fact that over a thousand, we're talking about in the thousands of children have been victimized here. Where's the Me Too movement? Where's the media outrage? Where are all the celebrities that have been up in arms about male supremacy? Uh, where are you? What, 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 what the hell? What did you not get a? Did you get? Did you not get a memo? Is, is this just oh, something that you can't talk about? These are children, for, for frick's sakes, okay? And and the re the way that Hollywood, the way that the news media, the way that the government is absolutely silent here should enrage all of you because it shows that this is far more sinister than we believed and they are trying to still cover up what we don't know. The only way to not let them win is to, of course, raise our voices together about this and the few people that do i thank you very much sharing a meme sharing this video means the world to me and truly the court of public opinion is still being fought and as of right now the only thing we have going for us is that it is being won because of the overwhelming roar of discontent and anger about the worst evils in our world that's my take on it if you think I'm wrong, let me know why in the comment section below. Thank you again for everything. Hope you guys are having an amazing and incredible, a very thankful, grateful Thanksgiving. And because you guys are still here, love you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.